Central Coast News right now. Cal Poly students will make history when a rocket is launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base on a mission for the university. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Arturo Santiago. And I'm Katie Marzullo. Excitement is spreading at Cal Poly days before a rocket launch at Vandenberg Air Force Base. The Taurus XL is carrying one payload for NASA and one for the university. Allison Reeder is live in San Luis Obispo with more on this historic event. Allison. Katie, this is a first for Cal Poly's Aerospace Engineering Department. The students have never had hardware strapped to a rocket that's been launched in their own backyard. These Cal Poly students aim high. They are already doing the work of rocket scientists. When this Taurus XL lifts off from Vandenberg Air Force Base, so will a payload they assembled. It's already set, it's settled, it's bolted, it's covered, it's, it's kind of there. And so we already have done the paperwork for it. And so we kind of probably just be wringing our hands, just making sure it gets up there. The primary mission of the launch is to place the NASA spacecraft Glory into polar orbit. But the rocket will also be carrying a peapod. It's a spring-loaded box that carries CubeSats, mini satellites, into space. Cal Poly designed it. Rocket launches are always exciting, but this one's 10 times more exciting because we actually have something on the launch. NASA recently signed a contract with Cal Poly to use its P-Pods for CubeSat launches. What we've been trying to do is trying to get on those NASA launches and trying to say, you know, here's the P-Pod, you know, it's easy to use, um, you know, just put it on and you'll know how big it is, what, how, what weighs, and don't worry about what's inside. Inside the P-Pod are three educational satellites from other universities. They will take radiation measurements and test high-speed communication. Always a little nervous, but we've done so much testing and so many other flights that we feel pretty confident that the P-Pod's going to be able to, to do its job. You may remember the last Taurus XL launch at Vandenberg Air Force Base failed. The Cal Poly students are a bit concerned about that, but they believe the necessary changes have been made. Live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Allison Reeder. Katie, back to you. All right, here's hoping. Thanks, Allison. The Taurus XL is scheduled to launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base at 2.09 a.m. next Wednesday.